Hello, beautiful soul, Samantha here. And this is my weekly Ascension Oracle reading. And this is the reading I'm doing for March 25th to 31st. And this is a huge week. We're starting into incredible energies that are going to bring on, a, again, a lot of self-transformation. And the weekly theme is all about allowing self-transformation because this first eclipse uh, gateway that we're having, which is on March 25th, uh, this is March 24th. So tonight um, on Pacific Daylight Time is March 25th at 12 a.m. And it is bringing in incredible spiritually transforming energy that's going to be rapidly, rapidly shifting us as we go through April. April is going to be an incredibly transformative month again. And as we move through this, we, and this month I said, we are working on our sovereignty, the sovereign and the mystic, working on our sovereignty so that we can really find our sense of empowerment, have healthy boundaries, okay, and therefore be in service to the, the greater good, all right, in a way that's healthy for us and really uh, helps us be here and live our unique talents and gifts um, and have passion in our life. So more and more this is coming online but we have to do so much clearing and release anything that is density uh, within ourselves within our vibrational field and anything needs to leave our lives now again is leaving our lives and as we go through eclipse gateways and you know prior to them and past them you know, six months uh, in time there is uh, a lot of influence uh, on our destiny okay their destiny changes the eclipse gateways same with the equinox that we just went through so you may be finding that things are shifting around for you or you're feeling the urge to shift and are in the process of shifting things in your life relationships may be leaving again or transforming and or gelling so again all of this is coming on online as we start through this incredible uh, full moon tonight march 25th uh, and penumbral eclipse in libra um, and as I said, it's 12 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. If you're somewhere else, you can check check that for you. But And you may be feeling the incredible energies that are coming through because we've had over this weekend as well so many solar flares. We had an X class and I mean too many M class <laughs> flares to count. As one of you wrote on my Facebook page, it's flare-tastic. That's basically what's been happening. And we had a big large CME um, and as well as severe geomagnetic storms. So all that, that energy, it's coming in to, to, with coding to transform us. And the Eclipse Gateway is bringing this incredible creative energy. And again, um, the full moon, I mean, the more divine feminine type energy that's coming through to transform us and bring in that sense of sovereignty and getting to the core self more and more. So this week, as we move through, the two archetypes that are coming up are the lover which we had last week um upside down remember in my cards with the archetype cards it's it's in shadow and when it's in shadow uh that means you're working through it and you have a, a, a real opportunity to transform that energy for yourself and so that lover uh, in shadow is the actor and you're still working through all these feelings that keep you from being authentic and showing up as authentically you and being in your highest truth. So continue to sit with that and work through it and work through anything that comes up in the past for you, okay? Um, and f as you feel and heal, keep having compassion for yourself, you know, um, loving yourself. And, um, you know, that in itself, as you come through, you'll just be able to really find that healing bond that you need, okay? And you may find that your hearts may be starting to open a little wider and deeper. You're going to be asked to do that. Just continue. You have to, and that needs to happen so that you could move into, you know, connecting with all that is, really listening to the cosmic heart, being connected to the cosmic heart, okay? Not the earthly heart, per se, that you live the cosmic heart. You are the cosmic heart and you are a being of light and then working with the muse archetype again upside down the shadow is the hedonist and the hedonist is all about pleasure for pleasure's sake and not being in service in the highest good um, those that are just here for themselves and that doesn't work in this new paradigm that's not who we are becoming all right and uh, this is where we are being in service for the greatest good and really living life with passion and purpose so continue to know you're shifting in that i mean even if you're sensing you know hopelessness despair you know feeling a little more heavy 
and not sure where you're going or what's happening. Understand that you are in the process of becoming this, becoming these archetypes and becoming that being of light and love that you are, right? You are a child of the cosmos. So those two archetypes are prominent this week and connected to them are other plant energy spirits that are supporting us and giving us guidance. And we have Mullen and Mullen is a fifth chakra this is all about being creatively unlimited, okay? About uh, finding support. Again, the energy is coming through this eclipse gateway. You may find you may feel a little more disconnected from your body and, and things, the body feels weird. Um, my body feels, I can feel there's so many things changing in my body as it tries to embody my sense of spirituality, right? Um, I've always said, and I've talked about this for years, how we are learning to live to be spiritual beings having an earthly experience, not the other way around. And the body has to change significantly and upgrade in different ways and purge and clear in order for us to live this and to embody who we are as spiritual beings. So your body is going to go through a lot of self-transformation right now and may need some, well, and does probably need a lot of extra attention. Uh, continue to ground yourself um, and just know that even if you're unsure of where you're going, okay, the energies are supporting you to do that, to really connect you through the cosmic energies and your higher self to your true purpose and strengthen boundaries in your relationships, okay, so you find better relationships um, and are in better relationships and support you to discern who or what helps you or hinders you on your journey. That's becoming stronger and stronger as your intuition will continue to grow through this eclipse gateway, okay? And then brings in a sense more of a sense of security, protection, and purpose. And that's what Mullen does. It really, we call on it for a sense of security, protection, and purpose. Thank you, Mullen. And then we have Rishi and Wormwood. So this is the throat area. So you may feel more in your throat this week. Okay, we've got the heart this week. And then here under Rishi and Wormwood is the sixth chakra. Okay, that's in the head. You might be feeling a lot in your head. I know I am. My head's tingling. I have a low headache, great headache. I can tell my thinking is changing, um, that I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm feeling and what you may be experiencing, sometimes negative, worrisome thoughts, and I keep working with those. So do that as well. And really, let's try to still your mind. Okay, and know that as you your the energies come in, that creative feminine energy coming in through the eclipse is really helping you to bridge that head to the heart and tune into your passion, purpose, and intuition. Okay, the intellect is and the ego they're a distraction. Um, they help us to a certain extent in order to uh, navigate and and you know uh, be who we are individually here, but otherwise. <laughs> They are not helpful a lot on the ascension journey. They get in the way and we forget who we are, right? As I said, beings of light and love. So, and then Wormwood, that also supports you, okay, this, this week to continue to release these patterns and bring in more clarity. So that's what we will, we will be doing and continuing to release heavy emotions and unconscious patterns that are creating any disharmony and lowering your vibration right? Because the whole idea is to raise our vibration, keep our vibe high. And so any kind of parasitic thoughts that you have or attachments to others or other entities that are depleting your energy, all of that needs to fall away for this next level that you're moving to in your spiritual growth. So the incoming eclipse energies and the many cellular flares and the CMEs, etc. as I said, they're really helping to support you in dissolving these destructive attachments so you can restore your energy levels and your vibrancy okay so that's that as we move through and woody nightshade here is the same as last week about moving into love and compassion for ourselves more self-love embracing our shadow embracing our past embracing you, you know we are we are imperfect perfect human beings and we are learning to be really the spiritual self having that earthly experience as i mentioned so and know that, as always, this reading builds on my monthly Ascension update. So for the C March, if you want a full, especially if you're new to my channel and you want the full energies that are coming in this month that you've been experiencing as we go through this last week of March, okay? And so I have a few affirmations for you. Um, take a look at the description because they're all in there for this video on, on YouTube on my channel. 
However, I'm going to tell you, we're going to say them together and really feel it within us as we move through this week. So the first one is, my heart will heal. Okay, my heart will heal. The second is, I am creatively unlimited. Deep breath. The third is, I allow self-transformation. I allow self-transformation. And the fourth is, I reclaim my power, courage, and responsibility for the higher good. As you move more into your sovereignty, all right, this week. So I'm sending you lots of love and compassion as we go through this last week of March and through the first of the two Eclipse Gateways. It's going to be unprecedented as it is right now, uh, growth for us as we go through into April, incredible shifts in self-transformation. I'll be talking about that next week in my monthly Ascension updates, so please join me. As always, I'd love to hear your comments and how you're feeling through this, what you're experiencing. Please put them below. Please like my page. Um, you know, I, I'd love to know I'm supported as well on my journey. Um, I really appreciate all of you that are here. And take care. Many blessings to you.